Boom. How's it going, everybody? Hey, it is the good guy, Aaron, coming at you with another motivational, uh, nutritious, delicious, uh, amazing bomb.com instant pot recipe. I love making uh, food that is healthy uh, because I used to be a big boy. If you're familiar with any of my story uh, on some of my other videos on my YouTube channel, I've shared uh, where I've come from, a dark place. Uh, at one point, I was living in my car. Uh, I was a waste of space. I had ruined my life from drugs and addiction. Uh, but I'm back. I've learned some things along the way, and I'm here to offer some value. Uh, so what we got today is a nutritious Instant Pot low-carb uh, buffalo chicken soup. That's right, a low-carb buffalo chicken soup. Uh, it's a little spicy, but it's uh, tasty, and I'm excited to share it with you. So don't go anywhere. Come on back, and we're going to break it down for you. assembled our tools, our talents, our willpower, our drive, our desire uh, to knock out this low-carb buffalo chicken soup for my Instant Pot. Uh, this is actually not the maiden voyage. I, I gave this a test run uh, last week or earlier this week. And I have to say, uh, wholesomeyum.com did a great job. It's a great uh, tasty recipe uh, that's keto-friendly, low-carb as I said. Uh, but it is in fact not spicy enough. So if you like spice uh, and you like a little zinc to it, it calls for two to three tablespoons of buffalo sauce. I've got the, the Frank's Red Hot here. I'm gonna go with four this time. I'm gonna make it a little more potent. But uh, you know, tread lightly, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, just do it 100% is what I say, you know. All or nothing, baby. Uh, so what I've uh, got here are my uh, first ingredients. Uh, this is in a couple of stages. We have set our Instant Pot to saute. Uh, if you've not read the instructions to your Instant Pot, please do. It's got some uh, precautionary things, hot surfaces, you know, when you're cooking. Uh, you always got to consider safety, so please read the manual. What we're going to do first, I have my EVOO. This is going to call for a tablespoon. Uh, unfortunately, my measuring teaspoons and tablespoons ended up in the garbage disposal. So we're just going to measure out what would probably be about a tablespoon. <laughs> you know, uh, occupational hazards, baking, cooking. It's a man down. That would go a little bit more in there. I think probably about a tablespoon, give or take. Uh, EVO is healthy for you. Got some of those uh, healthy uh, omegas in it. We're gonna put that in there, let it uh, heat up a little bit. The second it gets hot, uh, if you can see here, it says on. That means it's warming up. We're gonna get that in there. Uh, so we're gonna let the, that come to a, sh a shimmer. It's gonna have a shiny look uh, if you've ever uh, cooked at all. Once the, the oil that you're using reaches an appropriate temperature, it kind of gives off a glimmer or a shimmer. And then we are going to add our first ingredients. I've chopped up a half a large onion. I've diced it. I have a half a cup, half a cup of celery. I'm gonna add those into my uh, olive oil here, my extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna let that simmer and saute. Oh yeah, hear it. Okay. We're gonna stir that up for about 10 minutes is what it says. Let it get nice and soft, aromatic, and then we'll come back and we'll go to the next phase, so don't go anywhere. We are back with the next stage of our low-carb buffalo chicken soup. I'm excited, super healthy. Uh, if you know anything about the good guy, uh, I used to be a bad boy, a, a bad, bad guy, bad boy, <laughs> for sure, uh, but a big boy. But I had to transform myself. I had to start living healthy, eating healthy, and uh, this is part of a nutritious, a healthy lifestyle. So I promise if you will implement these uh, tools and talents, these techniques uh, in your life, along with your Instant Pot, uh, you're gonna live long, prosper, and uh, live a, a more happy, fulfilling life. Uh, so we've got our celery and our onion that have been sauteing for about 10 minutes. Next stage, we're gonna add 
four minced garlic cloves. So those are potent for about a minute. Let them get aromatic. I love it. When I lived in Korea, we ate a ton of garlic and it is super healthy for you. They claim that it can help reduce blood pressure and in society nowadays. I forget the numbers. I was reading up on it the other day. Uh, I don't know if it's 30, 40% of Americans uh, deal with blood pressure. If you got any statistics on that, let me know. Comment below. All right, so we're letting that get real potent. It says, uh, let that, let that uh, saute in with your onions and your celery about a minute. I just realized I probably put a little bit more than a half a cup of celery in there, but that's okay because it's healthy. I like celery. I like to think I'm getting uh, some fiber in there, you know. All right, so that's getting real garlicky. I love it. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to add four cups. I've got some low-sodium chicken broth here. This is uh, my boy Sam, great value, Walmart. But we will need to turn off the saute first because we're gonna switch to pressure cook after this. So we got four cups of, I've chose to do low sodium chicken broth. One. I'll add, put the kibosh on that fizzle, huh? Two. Otra vez, uno más. Yeah, there we go, all in, baby. I love this. I love this. I've got some other recipes that I've done in the past. Uh, a chick, uh, a chili recipe that was with turkey. Uh, that was really good. And then I did a lentil soup. I'll put that in the link uh, so you can check those out too. Game changer. The great thing about the Instant Pot is that you can meal prep, you know, you can do a lot, set yourself up for success for a couple days. Uh, so what I have here is my shredded chicken. It calls for a pound. It was super easy before I prepared this. I took, uh, actually I bought about two pounds of chicken. I'm only gonna put more than a pound, uh, which the recipe calls for. Like I said, wholesomeyum.com. Just because I like a little more protein and uh, meats in there. Uh, but I put my Instant Pot, I set it for five minutes, cup of water, my chicken breasts in there, boom, perfect. I took out my chicken and I used my handheld mixer, just shredded it up all lovely. Check that out, mm, beautiful. So this would be probably close to two pounds of chicken. I'm going to, I'm probably gonna go like a, a pound and a third. I'm gonna save some of this for later. So yeah, I, prob I went more than a pound uh, that it calls for, but I, I don't care. I'm a, I'm a bit of a rebel. Stir that up. We're gonna put our pressure cook here. It's gonna want us to do this for five minutes. But like I said, I'm gonna put more than a tablespoon. I'm gonna get this spicy. Three, there we go. Oh, that's probably closer to like five, but that's okay. Stir it up. Stir it up. Okay. We have our celery, our onions, our garlic, our chicken broth, our uh, hot buffalo sauce, and our shredded chicken. Gonna stir that up. Click in our Instant Pot. And we're gonna wait uh, for that to cook. Five minutes, come back, and we'll show you how to break it down and see how it tastes. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're back for the final stage, the final countdown. It's the final countdown. Just like Europe, I'm dating myself there. Uh, we are releasing the pressure uh, in the last few seconds here from our Instant Pot. There's a valve on the back. We're waiting for a little red button to drop, and then we're gonna walk you through the final phase. I've got the rest of my ingredients and uh, tools and talents all established. You know we're about the tools and the talents. I got my blender. Uh, we got six ounces of cream cheese. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ladle out one cup of soup juice 
and we're gonna mix that up we're gonna blend it up put that back in with our heavy whipping cream a half cup of that so I'll break this down all in the comments and the uh, description of the, uh, the the video along with the link to wholesomeyum.com so you can peep it out I've done my own little tweaks just for protein and you know only personal preferences on the, the spice like I said I tried this before uh, but I like a little more bite you may want to tone it back a little bit all right so the indicators dropped we're gonna click it oh yeah lovely oh yeah get the whiffs in there get the whiffs I'm just gonna bring you in a little bit closer here I think you could probably see that bomb yeah you know with the I, I didn't chop my I wouldn't call it minced celery it's more chopped celery so it's kind of giving off a stew look I, I kind of like it you know that's what I think I'm gonna go, come back with, at you with next the stew standby instant pot stew from the good guy I really appreciate everybody being here I appreciate your support I appreciate the love and the outpouring from everybody I've had uh, if you haven't found me on Instagram or Facebook, it's 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 gangbusters there. There's a lot of support, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of passion for personal growth, for personal improvement. So find me there. Uh, that, the link is there's the, the links are in my my YouTube profile. So please find it. Find me. Let's get together. Let's take over the world. Let's be the best version of you that you can be. Everybody's on some kind of a transformation journey. I've really learned a lot myself and I look forward to the future. Just trying to surround myself by good people and say, teach me Obi-Wan, just like on uh, Star Wars, part of the Jedi. I'm just a Padawan learner. All right, so we've got our, our juice there from our soup. We're gonna go in, calls for six ounces of cream cheese. Low carb, uh, high fat, this is keto friendly, like I said, you know. They're finding out that uh, scientifically that high fat diets aren't as bad for us as what they once thought they did. But go and research it, do your own uh, homework. All right, it's gonna get noisy real quick. All right, here we go. Yeah, the good thing about that soup is it helps to melt the cheese in there. When I first did this, I was like, what, I'm gonna blend up cream cheese? Came out just right. So got that there. Uh, the recipe also calls for half and half if you don't wanna go with heavy whipping cream. I love heavy whipping cream, it's great. Put it in anything, your tea, your coffee, uh, peaches and cream, I don't know if you ever grew up with that. That was great. Can stir it up oh yeah this is definitely better round two you can, there's more potent uh, flavor more aromas I put more of that Frank's red hot sauce in there you know the Buffalo style so now is the moment of truth is it edible let's do it yeah oh yeah get away with that Let's see a bite real quick, and then we'll let y'all go so you can go uh, make your own. Yeah, more bite that time. More potent, that's probably five tablespoons of uh, buffalo sauce. But like I said, if you don't like the spice, it only calls for two to three. I made some tweaks. Great recipe, Instant Pots Bomb. I'm gonna put a link below so you can pick up your own. God bless, take care, thanks for tuning in. Uh, stand by for more healthy lifestyle videos. Keep coming back, and I promise we'll bring you some value, some entertainment, so you can be the best version of you that you can be. So click like, uh, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and join me on my journey to greatness. Take care.